If they don't have Mario ride Yoshi in this movie, then have him jump off his back over a cliff. Are they even fans of the games? The Super Mario Brothers movie has been breaking records, beating Disney at their own game, and surpassing one billion dollars in gross sales. Already. I think it's safe to assume we're getting a sequel. Shigeru Miyamoto wants it, Illumination wants it, the entire cast does, and so do all of us. Is it gonna be good? I have no clue. But if I was in charge of making it, it would undoubtedly be worse, but still. Here's the ideas I'd be pulling from. There's a thousand different ways you can take this sequel, and I want to know your take down in the comments. Or if one of these ideas really stands out to you, expand on it a bit. Before I get into those though, I want to go over some things I don't want to see from the next movie. And the top of that list is the whole dream premise. I've been seeing this one all over the internet. Since the first Mario movie felt a lot like Super Mario Bros, people think its follow-up will take inspiration from Mario 2, the US version, where they meet Birdo, crawl through a bird's mouth, fight Wart, and explore a more abstract land. It's not the worst idea on paper, but it's too early in the film franchise to pull some crap like that. And it would be super unsatisfying to see the story not expand on the last film at all. That's also the reason I don't want to see any spin-off movies quite yet. The Mario brand is massive, and there's so many stories to tell. Stories I would love to see, but that main Mario storyline needs a bit more foundation before they start building out all these side stories. I think a Kong-focused movie would be sick. Seeing my boy King K. Rool on the big screen would be insane. And a Luigi's Mansion or Captain Toad movie could be awesome, but they should wait a few years. The only exception to this in my opinion would maybe be a movie about the baby characters. Now, in the games, I don't really care for them. They cause good characters to be left behind, and the Yoshi's Island sound effect will always cause me pure anxiety. But weirdly enough, I think it would work really well for a movie. The whole Super Mario Movie 2 Yoshi's Island concept is intriguing, and all those short glimpses of backstories we got in the first film left a ton of mysteries that I'd love answers to. How did Peach end up alone in the Mushroom Kingdom? How bad was Bowser's childhood? And let's see more of the brothers as kids. Also, was Yoshi involved in their childhood at all? And did Kamek play any significant role prior to Bowser? I want to know. It'd be a super interesting film that's filled with lore. But there's definitely some better ways they could follow up the first film. And they'd probably have a much broader appeal. Firstly, and most probably, I think the Koopalings are making their debut. And that Yoshi egg is the main reason why. In the manual for Super Mario World, it stated that Yoshis were sealed into the eggs by a group of quote, monstrous turtles, and were given to none other than the Koopalings to be watched over. We already know they exist in this universe, thanks to the piano Bowser's playing, but it seems like their paths haven't really crossed yet. How can that be the case if they're as kids though? They're not. You are not! In 2012, the creator of Mario himself confirmed that, so maybe they're powerful Koopas that coexist in this realm. Either way, the end of the first movie never shows what happened to Kamek, so he's probably still alive and orchestrating a big team up for the next movie. I'll be honest though, as far as new characters, I'd be least excited to see the Koopalings. I think there's way cooler enemies to make it to the big screen, but fight scenes with all seven of them plus Bowser would be insane. I'd much rather see Wario and Waluigi incorporated though. You know Wario's coming in part two. Maybe DeVito would be a great Wario. I'm Waluigi. And I'm a Wario. They're my most wanted characters for this next movie. And that's probably the case for most people. Introducing the two would be tricky, but I think they should lean heavily on the Mario Land series and kind of combine all the games into one. Introduce Daisy as the princess of Sarasa Land on that desert island and have Wario and Waluigi take that over together, locking Daisy up and raiding the territory of anything valuable. Then have Kamek convince the two to team up with Bowser and ransack the much more lucrative Mushroom Kingdom. I know I'm relying on Kamek a lot in both of these cases, but he was the second biggest villain in the movie, and he definitely has the power to make that happen. I think they should treat Wario's character a lot like Knuckles in the second Sonic movie, where he's the big tough guy that's easy to persuade. And maybe they could even have Bowser betray him in the end to set up a Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi team up fight against Bowser. Or maybe Wario goes to help Bowser solo and leaves Waluigi alone to watch over Sarasa Land, where he tries to riz up Daisy throughout the entire movie for some cheap laughs. 
If they don't end up using the Wario Bros, it'd be a huge letdown for sure. But a Mario Bowser team up could be a lot of fun too. Given the right circumstances, it could be so great. But they need to bring in a really powerful and threatening enemy to justify it. And none really come to mind. There's some more niche characters that pose that world ender level threat, but none are very iconic. And a majority of kids, which is a major portion of the demographic, wouldn't know who the hell it is. Whatever it ends up being though, it would have to capture Peach with intent to kill her. And since Mario and Bowser both care about her so much, they'd be able to put their beef aside to save her as partners. Maybe they could make it work with Wario, but personally, I'd love to see some sort of extraterrestrial threat and have Rosalina eventually interfere to save the day. That would also provide a lot more context to the Lumily being in the first movie. But lastly, let's not forget to mention Bowser Jr. How could the follow-up involve him? Well, his inclusion might be the trickiest, since he's canon to be Bowser's son, and him not mentioned in the first movie would be tough to explain. If they get over that hump though, they could take it in some really cool directions. Maybe Mario and the gang vacation after saving the world, and the movie literally just expands on the ideas in Mario Sunshine. Or Bowser Jr. was off doing bigger things while his dad obsessed over this Peach chick, and he comes back after hearing about what happened to him. Then they do the whole kidnap Peach and make her my mom thing all over again. I don't know. But whoever ends up being the main villain needs to be finished off by Luigi this time. He really needs an arc where he overcomes that dependence on Mario, kind of like Tails did in the first Sonic Adventure game. That would be a super positive step for his character. And if it happened, that would be the perfect time for a Luigi's Mansion spinoff. Real quick, if I were in charge of casting for these new characters, whichever ones end up making it in, I'd want Amy Poehler as Daisy, Danny DeVito as Wario, Willem Dafoe as Waluigi, Kristen Schaal as Bowser Jr., Elizabeth Banks as Rosalina, Tom Kenny as Yoshi, and Jack Black with a bunch of different voices as the Koopa Wings. It'd be so funny to hear what he comes up with for that. But again, let me know your ideas in the comments down below. And consider checking out my video about the first first Mario movie. Thanks for watching.